I'm Kara Legbo, historian for Oakland County Parks. Join me now for an episode of History in Our Parks. Puddle View, an Addison Oaks County Park story. In 1927, Lawrence and Cora Peck Buell decided to build a country estate, one they could spend weekends at and maybe summers. They chose 320 acres of land in Section 33 in Addison Township in northern Oakland County. The land had previously been the homestead of the Snyder family the homestead of the Shoemaker family. Lawrence's grandfather was Christian Buell. He'd come to Detroit in the 1830s, first sold hats and then started selling hardware. He had passed the hardware business on to his son Theodore, who expanded it into one of the largest wholesale hardware dealers in the world. Lawrence Buell had taken over the hardware business and expanded it again. Buell Stamping was one of the Buell businesses. It was famous for lanterns. It was even more famous for milk cans. It was the largest producer of milk cans in the world. Lawrence Buell even had a patent for a specialized milk can. In 1923, Lawrence and his brother Arthur demolished the four-story office building, the Buell Building, in downtown Detroit and replaced it with a 26-story building. That building, the Buell Building, is still an icon in downtown Detroit. In 1925, Lawrence Buell got interested in aircraft and began to build Buell Air Sedans at a small factory in Marysville, Michigan. And in 1927, he decided it was time for his country estate. Detroit architect Robert O'Derrick. He'd been designing some incredible houses in Indian Village in Detroit and in Gross Point. He was also the architect of the Henry Ford Museum. Construction began in 1927, but there's a bit of a mystery here. This piece of house, an old house, was apparently, according to records, incorporated into the mansion. That piece of house had come from the Peter Shoemaker homestead across the field from where the mansion was being built. Apparently, it was brought across the fields and somehow put into the mansion. There's a problem. When you look at all the peaks on the mansion, none of them match the Shoemaker house. We've yet to solve that mystery. Despite the mystery, what Derek created was amazing. Tudor Mansion. It had a pool, a large pool, and a pool house. The pool is gone, but the pool house is still there. And lots of outbuildings, a stable, a greenhouse, guest quarters. And some unique design features. Out the house are these large hand-hewn beams. They're in almost every room. According to records, these beams came from 13 barns in the area that were taken down in order to provide the wood for the mansion. Sadly, I've not been able to locate a record of whose barns those were, but there are many families that have history in the beams of this mansion. Another important design feature, fireplaces. There are 13 of them and every one is unique. The downstairs plan for the house had three separate areas, a family area, a guest area, and a service area. The family area included a formal dining room with a smaller breakfast nook at the end. And then there was a sitting room, a type of family room. And then the large living room. This is where the Buells entertained. It had two massive fireplaces. Then there was the downstairs guest room. The service area included the kitchen, a pantry, and a maid's dining room. The second floor had a similar regional structure. 
the family area, a guest room, and the service area. The family area included a master bedroom, and right next to it, a sitting room. And then there were the children's bedrooms, three of them. When the house was built, the Buells had three daughters, the oldest being about 11. Six years after the house was built, Lawrence Jr. was born. And then there was an upstairs guest room. In the service area, the room closest to the family was listed on the drawings as governess room. When the family built the house, Marta Celine Abotillo was their governess. She'd come from Paris, France in 1900. And then the service area included a large servant's workroom with a fold-down ironing board. And then four small maids' bedrooms was heated with two gigantic boilers in the basement. And of course, the house is filled with unique features, like hand-designed hardware, even gutter spouts engraved LB for Lawrence Buell. Lawrence Buell died in 1955, but the family held on to the estate for another 10 years until Cora passed in 1965. Had they had a name for their estate? What had they called it? According to family records, the Buell's main house was on Lakeshore Drive in Gross Point Farms, and it overlooked Lake St. Clair. When Mrs. Buell saw the little tiny lake that was now at the estate house, she said it looks like a puddle compared to Lake St. Clair. And she named the estate Puddle View. Of course, Puddle View is now the centerpiece of Addison Oaks County Park.